Okay, so today we're going to be looking um, at flow rates. We're going to take a typical GCSE question um, and we're going to be looking at how long it takes to fill up a container um, that holds 12 litres of water. If water's flowing through a pipe at 20 centimetres per second, okay? Now the pipe is a circular pipe. I can't draw very well, it is a circular pipe and the diameter is 2.4 centimetres. So what you need to do first of all is calculate the volume. Um, and the volume is 12 litres. And what you need to remember is the conversion from litres into metres. Okay, uh, metres cubed and into centimetres cubed. Now the way I like to think of it is a metre is about here on me. Okay, so a metre by metre by metre is a really big space and you just need to remember that that is about a thousand litres. So, I'll just put it over here, one metre cubed is a thousand litres and then when you switch it round, you just change it the other way around. So, a um, thousand centimetres cubed is one litre. So, one litre is a thousand centimetres cubed. One litre is ten by ten by ten. Okay. Um, so I can apply that here. 12 litres is therefore, we're looking in centimetres, so I want to be using this, is 12,000 centimetres cubed. And we know that volume is cross-sectional area times by length. Now we're looking at a circular tube, so we're doing a cross-sectional area, so that's the area of the circle, um, pi r squared, and we'll times it by the length. And we don't know the length, but we know the speed at which it's going, so that will allow us to find um, the length eventually. But we do know pi, obviously, and we do know r. r is half of the diameter, it's half of 2.4. So I have 12,000 equals pi times, now the radius is half of this, that's 1.2 squared, and we'll call that l. Which means that L, when I put it in my calculator, I do um, 12,000 divided by pi times 1.2 squared. So I get 265.58 oops, yeah, 652.58 centimetres. Now, it does carry on, so be careful, make sure you're using the answer button on the calculator, okay, for the next bit. Now, I'm given that this is centimetres, that's my length, and I'm given the speed. Speed is distance over time, so uh, time is distance over speed. So all I need to do is do uh, that the time is distance over speed. So distance is 2652 point blah blah blah, but actually we shouldn't do that, should we? We should use answer on your calculator and divide it by 20. So take your answer, divide it by 20, and I get 132.63 seconds. Okay, now depending on what your answer or the question said, you could leave it uh, to three six figs, that'd be 133 seconds. If it says in minutes, leave it as two minutes and 13 seconds, so on and so forth. Okay, it just depends what the question says. Um, and that would be how you would use flow rates to calculate the time it would take for water to fill up a container. Don't forget, really important, these conversions. Okay, really important you memorise those.